So now, we've talked about um, before when we were talking in the general uh, aspects of it about the cello and the bow. Uh, cause you, so the question gets to be what needs to be done to the cello and bow to achieve your sound image. So we talked about the properties of the cello and bow. So you now know that you have to vibrate the string. That's why I say string is king. That's all there is to it. And the bow, the purpose of the bow is to vibrate the string. So I think we should change our ideas about saying we have a bowing technique. Because, you know, you can have a fabulous bowing technique and make no sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to change that word to a stringing technique. Because the string has to be changed when you change what you do with the bow. You know, it, it can be, we can even think of it as like chicken and egg. What comes first? <laughs> but the string has to be vibrated, and if you want to make a different sound, it doesn't matter what stroke you use necessarily, as long as the string is being vibrated differently. Okay. <laughs>